You alright guys? Welcome to another video. In this one, we're back down at W Bean Sons for the July auction. In this video we're going to have a look at some of the project cars. So we'll get in, have a look about, see what there is to see. Got this little MR2. MR2 Mark 1. See, it's don't look too bad in here. A little bit of wear on the bolts are there. Not a lot. Some under trays. It's shown, let me see that guys, 158,000 mile. This car's had some restoration to the underside. Quite a little scabs on the back arches, but it's not too bad. Toyota's 1600 16 valve engine. In the wings don't look too bad, stood tops. A K and N filter on it. Getting that back arch looks quite tidy. Has had a bit of repair, possibly needs some attention being that skirt. This MR2 is on the 15 inch. TSW alloys. So under the bonnet, in the wings look all good. As so you can see there, it's had some uh, some paintwork done. It's been stone chipped. Let's see on that side. I think all look all good. So the Mark 1 MR2 T top is offered at an old reserve. Next up, got this pair of minis. The trailer does come with them. Absolutely full of parts. This one looks like it's had some paint work. Doesn't look too bad of a shell. Your posts don't look too bad. And about there, it's had attention, it's had new bushes. And either it looks like a new subframe in the back as well. Battery tray has been repaired. So there's absolutely loads of parts that come with these two guys. There's a pair of doors there. Look like they've been painted as well. And this second mini. It could be a restoration vehicle, but it it does require quite a bit of work. Possibly just be a parts car. They also come with two thousand cc engines. And numerous as many light style wheels. That one. It's had bits of paint work and that done. Again, there's more mini light style wheels in the back there. Again, this other mini is absolutely full of parts. There's even an exhaust there tucked in the back of the trailer. So the whole lot has that package is offered at a no reserve. Next up, got this little MGB GT. This one's obviously a project car, guys. It's showing. 95,000 miles, if you can see that. There's numerous parts in the back there as well. It's got the original leather. This one's on the original 14 inch steel wheels. It's obviously going to require some restoration. 
Well, this one's the 1967 model. Bonnet MGB. Yeah, some seagulls. <laughs> yeah, and the wings don't look too bad. Oh, she will require. I can't really see that one, guys. It's a lovely sunny day, that day. Not sure if there's been something living in there. Yeah, there looks to be. I'll leave rock cover. The guy price on the MGB GT is one to two thousand pound. Next up, got this MG ZR. Obviously, it is a project car. Can't show you the mails as this digital. Not too bad in here. Drive seat does have some wear on the bolsters. And the rest of the interior looks in quite good condition. This one's on the standard 17 inch alloys. Obviously, it just needs some restoration. Again, a little bit down the back quarter, bottom of the back wheel arch, a bit around the top. Again, on the front wings. It's a Rover's K Series engine. Needs a little bit of tension to that strut top there. And there is a dubious mixture in that expansion tank, so that will need further investigation. The MG ZR is offered at an no reserve. Next up, a bit of a rare thing. Got this Alpha Sud Sprint. Does look fairly complete in here. Fairly original, other than the Ford Radio cassette. <laughs> it's shown 63,000 miles, can you see that? Obviously it's been stood a while on the cobwebs. Back watches are going to re require some attention. Obviously the car's going to want full restoration. Again, back arches are on the standard 13 inch steel wheels. There's Alpha's flat 4 engine. And the wings don't look too bad, a little bit rattled there, but again, obviously, it is going to require full restoration. That'll be ideal for a parts car. Just notice the tax disc on that one, 97. Guy price on the Alpha is 800 to 1200 pound. Next up, got this Sierra Estate. Quite tidy car in here, guys. My new version, high speed. She won 55,000 miles. Obviously, take that as you will. Not too bad in the back here. Just need a, a little bit of a clean. It's not too bad. Doesn't seem to have any rips or tears. Back arches have had some attention. Obviously, you could do with a, a little bit better repair. Not too bad of a car, door bottoms look alright. Sure has also had a little bit of repair on the top of the roof there, will require some attention. This one's running on the 16 inch Ford Focus alloys. Again, a little bit of attention in there. Don't bottoms don't look too bad. 
tucked in that one we'll see each of the cards and I think thank you so this one's running the 800 CVH engine don't look too bad I mean, obviously dirty but they don't look uh, they don't look grotty anyway not too bad of a thing so the guy price on the Sierra State is one and a half to two and a half thousand pound next up got this BMW M535 a cool car it's quite complete in here guys, Ricardo style front seats. And quite clean, it's showing 104,000 miles if you can see that. A little tiny crack on the dash there, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, it's that small, I don't think you can just see it eh. Not too bad of a thing. This one's quite tidy in the back there as well, obviously it does need cleaner. Obviously the car needs a full refurb. I'm just showing the edge of the doors, it's full of dust. Can you see that? This BM, that's the original plate. It's been a local northeast car. Run on the 17 inch alloys here. Bonnet the M5, the wings don't look too bad. Looks fairly complete. So the guy price on the M5 is four to five thousand pounds.